So let's take a minute and walk through what a Schoology account looks like for a parent. So the first time you have to set up your account, go to Schoology.com, click on sign up, just hover over it, go down to parent, and the access code that your student's teacher gives you, you can place here and then you'll set your account up with your email address and your password. Once you set it up, the next time you come to Schoology.com, you'll log in with your email address and password that you set. When you first log into your account, it usually comes to the page for you as a parent. And so when you're here, you have no courses, no groups. There's really not anything here on this page that's going to help you. But if you notice over here on the right hand side, you can click your name and you can change to either of your students' accounts. If you add, need to add more children, you can with that access code. But if you click on a student's account, then you will see what they're seeing. You will see courses that they have, the groups that they are in, and you can also look at any grade reports. Something else to know, when you're in your student's account, you can click on the, click the down arrow. So I'm on my son's account. If you click on the settings icon, you can set up notifications that come to you. So I set up my notifications to come daily for now just to get used to it at 5 o'clock. And this just gives me a summary of my student's account. You can also turn on notifications to send you an email for any overdue assignment that has not been submitted. So that way that you can be notified if you need to um, talk to your student about something that didn't turn in. So this is a great way to do that. Again, I went to my student's account. I'm on his account and I click on settings. And when I'm there, I go under notifications. And that's where I can set up the notifications for me as a parent. Same thing, you can do that with the other students. If you have more students than one, go to their account, click on settings, and set up those notifications as well. My daughter in kindergarten, I'm not as worried about um, as I am wanting to keep up my son, but it looks like those notifications has been turned on as well. So I hope this helps for you to be able to navigate through Schoology um, as a parent a little bit better. Have a great day.